I just can't seem to find like any good lighting anywhere in the house or anywhere that feels private to video blog at least. I'm really struggling. I feel creatively empty. There's there's nothing. And there is plenty of suggestions you guys have given me, and there are ones that I want to do, but I just, I'm exhausted. And a video every day is not sustainable at all. You should see this setup. My laptop is on top of like three pillows trying to act like a tripod. <laughs> Oh, that kind of works. I need a shave. There's so much. See, there's so much more that goes into YouTube videos now. Like, now I have to shave because I actually grow hair. And you always need, like, a really sexy thumbnail. And the amount of energy that goes into having to figure out a video title. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I have no interest in, in, in doing some link baity title. It's just whatever, you know? So I guess that kind of comes down to what am I doing this for? Am I doing this for me? Am I doing this for an audience? Am I doing this for friends? Am I doing it for to be creative? Am I doing it for fame? Am I doing it for money? What am I doing this for? And I have to remind myself the whole reason why I'm doing this was to get some creativity sparked again. To reconnect with some old friends, to reconnect with an old part of myself, put myself out there on a medium where I was very censored and just be me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to push through. I'm going to push through. And I, I know, I keep talking in my videos about making videos. <sighs> push through and just do. Ugh. So one of my longtime subscribers, Kelly, or Life in Real Time, sent me a list of questions that she would like for me to answer. So here goes, let's do that. One, what does Rodney think of you doing videos again, and has he watched any of your old videos? Rodney's actually been really supportive of me uh, doing these videos again. Um, he thinks it's really cool that I'm, like, making something of my own, and, um, and he's been jealous I think in a way company's been great it's been um, something that's really consumed our lives for the last few years we're, we're both trying to reestablish hobbies and, and a life outside of work found mine doing this he's been very encouraging willing to help me however he can it is very foreign to him <laughs> and he does make fun of me some he's actually going to be in a couple videos coming up he has seen some of my older videos. I don't know how many of them he's seen. I know he hasn't seen all of them. Um, he thinks they're funny. He also thinks they're a little weird. Um, but I don't know. that. I don't know. We'll have to ask him this question directly to get exactly what he thinks. Who are the YouTubers you watched back in the day, and did you keep up with any of them while you were MIA? So, let's see. Some people I used to watch back in the day. Um, <clears throat> Nolts, Michael Buckley, or What the Buck, Stephen Kell, everyone knows that, Epiphanize, Robofollette, John Lacey, um, Morgan, or Ustix555, mm, Tiffany Monasseur, I hope I said her name right. Nikki9287? Nikki2987? Oh, come on. There's other people. Let's see. Oh, I used to watch Kick the PJ, Crash Bang Adam, uh, ba -ba 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 Wheezy Waiter, 365 Days. Oh my god, Caitlin Hill. I used to love Caitlin Hill um, back in the day. Color Me Kristen, Sydney Rackinson. What was his YouTube name back then? Uh, Ed Bassmaster. People that I've kept up with the most would be Ask Carrie Lee, friends on Facebook and always kind of commenting back and forth and stuff. Friends with Michael Buckley on Facebook and interact with him a lot. Of course, he interacts with everyone. He's, 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 he's very, very social. Uh, but I, I love following him and I will probably devote a whole video to him at some point um, because well, you'll see in that video. Uh, John Lacey, I talk with a lot on Facebook. Uh, pretty much everyone that I've mentioned, I, I'm friends with on Facebook. Steven and Kelly, friends with them on Facebook and keep up with each other here and there. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's 
different in the way that we keep up with each other. A lot of us aren't making videos anymore. It's epiphanized. Epiphanized Doug Armstrong is kicking ass right now. Coming back to YouTube, I was just blown away to see how well his channel's doing. He's got some really awesome stuff, and um, not that he needs me to send you what 200 people are left of you uh, to go to his channel, but definitely check it out. Oh, that was a lot. Who are you subscribed to now, and who do you watch now? I really don't watch a lot of YouTube. However, when I have been watching videos, I definitely have some, some favorites. One of my absolute favorite people in the world to watch, um, what, whatever the medium is right now, is Willem Belli, uh, the drag queen. She is absolutely hilarious. I love her. Just everything everything she does is perfect. Her timing is, is, is spot on. Her humor is just awesome. She has an incredible wit. So I really like watching her stuff. Um, watched a lot of Davy Wavy. Um, sort of been poking my way back into a lot of uh, the different gay vloggers. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of them now. There's a lot of them. The other day I was, I spent probably two hours and just going, wow, there are so many queens on YouTube now. Of course, there always was, but now they're all out. And some of them, oh my God, are so young. Some of them I don't think were even alive when YouTube was started. You know, that's a whole nother thing. Ugh, lighting, Jesus. All right, I'm gonna have to speed this up or I'm never gonna get it done in time. I mean, every, all of it's just falling apart. All of it. Ah, and I look into the ball, but I get blinded. Who on YouTube do you miss? What channel creator are you surprised isn't doing YouTube anymore? I'm surprised that I'm not seeing much from, like, Nults? I mean, maybe he is, and I'm just missing it. Sometimes I'm surprised that people, like, Smosh is still running. I kind of thought that would have died out a long time ago. You know, I'm, honestly, I'm really surprised that uh, Robofollette isn't making many videos right now. It seemed like he really picked up steam for a while, and then... Now it's kind of been spaced out. All right, the next question. YouTube is much more of a business now, i.e. ads, brand deals, books, merch. Is that something you're interested in being involved in? Um, I mean, sure, if I got a book deal out of something, absolutely. Let's be real. Would I love to be famous and successful on YouTube? Absolutely. Sure. But that's, I, that's not the point. That's not what I'm doing right now. Maybe that's what I'll be doing later, but at the moment, that's not what I'm interested in. I'm, I'm, if I was in it for their subscribers, I, I wouldn't be doing the videos that I'm doing right now. You cannot produce awesome content with a full-time job and a family and responsibilities and have it be high quality and, and doing one every day. There's just not enough time. It's, it's not sustainable. There, there's, there's not enough time to put the energy into it. I mean, maybe you could, but, I mean, a video every day, I, I, I think most people would agree that, that that's not it's not really an option so whatever comes after this month maybe sure I would love to be able to make money off of just doing social media stuff I mean I did quit my job once upon a time to do that and it didn't work out <laughs> aside from the business aspects of YouTube how do you think it's changed since you started well I don't know if you could really talk about anything other than the business aspects. I mean, everything has become so commercialized now. Gatherings used to be this really awesome, like, social, community, organic thing. And now there are big conventions with tickets and theaters and itineraries and keynotes. It's, it's just... Uh, it, it's not quite the same. It's very weird. Kind of makes me sad because, I mean, YouTube was such an amazing way to like become friends with all these people all over the world and become connected with all these people over the world and everything was very accessible. Everyone was very accessible. I mean, you still had had sort of the subscriber gap, if you will. Everything was much more achievable. Now now there's just, I mean, these massive subscriber gaps. It, 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 
even at a gathering, everyone it was used to be on like equal footing. There wasn't really like the celebrity status. You might only have a couple hundred subscribers and at the core gathering moment, you know, you're hanging out with the, you know, there's someone there that everyone's obsessing over that has like a million subscribers. But then an hour later, you and two other pers people in that million subscriber person are hanging out at Starbucks drinking coffee together and just kind of chatting. And I, I, I don't really see how that would happen anymore. It, it seems like it has become a very um, kind of a separation of the have and have nots as far as subscribers. I mean, there's, it doesn't seem like it's as easy to maneuver between the clicks, if you will. Oh, the other thing that's changed is the freaking Google accounts. I can't figure it out. And why did they have to get rid of my all, all my beautiful YouTube branding? I had, I, had, I had an awesome page. I had spent a ton of time laying everything out. They keep changing how everything works, which is fine. You know, it has to happen. But you, you could, you could have left my profile picture. I don't know why that had to leave with the, now I have six different Google plus accounts that I really should just be one and just needs to be merged, but you can't. So unless someone knows how to do it, then let me know. Let's just say the month goes well and you don't want to kill anyone and I can talk you into continuing this channel. What kind of content do you see yourself making? Daily vlogs, weekly postings, one to two videos, skits, whatever. So I would love to do something a little more skit based. I would love to do more produced sort of content. Also some more artistic stuff. I mean, I've, I, I used to make really sort of meaningful artistic videos with things. And I would like, I would like to do some of that again. I mean, comedy is fun and just sort of being funny and talking about your life is fun. But I also feel like a certain, there, there's only so much meat to that. Things of substance. Um, I, I mean, I also would really like to produce a web series of some sort. So we'll see. I mean, I definitely think vlogs would continue to be a part of something. I never, oh, there goes my light and there goes my camera. This is ridiculous. This is... <laughs> Cannot even handle this right now. <sighs> All right. So let's do this. All right. So I kind of feel like my whole setup is sort of falling apart here, and that's just going to have to be where the video ends. So um, we're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's just signaling it's time to end this video. So I'm gonna end this video. Um, it's been great. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to edit this shit down and um, do a video tomorrow in natural light. But thank you, Kelly, for the questions. They're awesome. Um, there's a few more left that I will try to get to in another video. But for now, I'm, I'm going blind with this thing. Um, see? Here it goes. Yeah, bye.